Hi, Mama Russell here. It's been a while since I've recorded anything. Uh, a little busy with school. Today I was demoing with my students, uh, measuring and things like that. And so I thought I would share with you a really easy recipe. Uh, it's getting cold outside and it's getting to be that time of year where apples are in season. And so we're gonna make apple pie bites. So real simple, I'm gonna turn the camera down here. Really simple uh, recipe. You've got your crescent rolls. You've got cinnamon and nutmeg. We use brown sugar, melted butter. I use a Granny Smith apple cut in slices. And that's it, that's all the ingredients. Real simple, you're gonna preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And you're going to take and unroll your crescent rolls, uh, the triangles onto a greased cookie sheet. You're then going to take a pastry brush or the back of a spoon if you have it and take melted butter. Oh, you have butter too. And you're going to spread butter onto the each triangle. Okay, again, this is melted butter, so I melted it in the microwave. Don't forget when you are melting butter in the microwave, you put a paper towel over the top because it kind of explodes everywhere. And so uh, you just keep the mess to one paper towel instead of all over your microwave. So we do that. We um, put butter, melted butter, and then we take our uh, fourth cup of packed brown sugar and um, a teaspoon of cinnamon and a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg and you mix it together and then you're gonna get ready to sprinkle it on. So you just take a handful and you sprinkle trying not to get it on the cookie sheet because it does have brown sugar in it, therefore the brown sugar will burn on the cookie sheet. So we sprinkle a generous amount on each triangle. Oh, my oven's ready. Okay. And so I'm not gonna show you all of these, but um, you sprinkle it on. You take your slice of apple, and it depends on how thick you want it. It doesn't really matter. I sometimes do thin, sometimes do a little bit thicker slice. We'll place it on the end, the large, uh, the larger end of the triangle, and you roll it like a crescent roll. And then you lay it down. And then you take some more butter, sprinkle it on the top, or not sprinkle, put it on the top. Take more of your little sprinkle, uh, cinnamon brown sugar mixture, sprinkle it on the top, and then you're going to bake for 10 to 12 minutes. Again, you take the apple, you roll it up in the crescent roll. Try to keep it the apple on the inside so it kind of is in the little shell there. And, oops, I forgot butter. A little butter. Sprinkle it on, and so the apple pie bites just came out of the oven and my house smells like a warm uh, apple crisp on a uh, fall day. It smells so wonderful in here. But here's what the end result looks like. Okay, so, all right, end result. So the apple is encapsulated in some, some it's hanging out the ends, um, but the apple will be, uh, somewhat crisp but that so I hope you enjoyed this video thanks again for um, joining me